Okay, hello everybody. Welcome back to Zabber Mouse at Home. Today we are going to be talking about this fantastic bundle of 120 brush tip alcohol markers by Ohuhu and how they act on canvas and on paper numbers. So let's get started. The very first thing I want to talk about is why I started this little adventure trying to find an alternative to the paint pots that come with paint by number. The reason I did that is because these paint pots are real cute when they come and you think, oh great, I'm gonna put these on there, but actually they turn out looking very dull. Sometimes they crack, look that's cracked. You can see the canvas underneath there. It's like scratchy, I call that scratchy looking. Again, there's some cracking and dullness. I don't know if you can see, I have the light on bright as can be, but for some reason, it just doesn't wanna focus on it. But anyway, we'll put that back down. Uh, I wanted an alternative. And plus the brushes, while they are very fine, you know, fine tip that come with it, I don't have one handy right here, it, when you push on it, it spreads out so you can't get a detailed line. And as people who do uh, paper numbers know, sometimes they can be very, very detailed. And so it's hard to get an exact look. And with the dullness of the paint, like I said, I just wanted an alternative. I tried to go with an acrylic marker and they're fine. They have a really wide tip though. I wish I could find some brush tip ones. That is, I don't know, Let's see if I can get a little bit. It always takes, ooh, I got some on my hand. Well, anyway, but those didn't really work either because again, they are the same dullness. And here's a marker, let me show you. I actually kind of did it a little bit just to compare for myself, but I'll show you right on camera. It has the same dullness as the original paint. So what's the point of that, I ask? So I decided to go back to the drawing board, look at more YouTube videos, and these are what caught my eye. There are so many videos out there with people using these with great success on paper. But I have only found just like one or two or three videos where they're discussing how these function on canvas. On one video, it showed that they didn't dry. And so immediately they should be not used on canvas. By the way, that's not true. And I'll show you. And then the second one, she did kind of a rainbow design a little bit and it still looks scratchy and I didn't really like the scratchiness of it. And it could have been the paper that she was using. It could have been that she was not using the brush tip, that she was using the uh, original bullet tip that these guys had, that the Ohuhu had, but I don't know. But anyway, it didn't turn out that great. But then one specific video where the gal was using these Ohuhu markers on an owl, it showed how she was putting the feathers and blending and it was looking perfect. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna invest in these. They're only $99 on Amazon for 120. I'm gonna invest in these and see how it works out. So before I show you what they actually did for me on a paint by number, I'm gonna show you how they react on canvas. So let's get out a piece of canvas paper. And I've got some right here. See, it's got the canvas on the back and the uh, gesso on the front. It's just, you know, your basic set that you can use in a printer or whatever. So let me make sure that's in focus before I get started. Okay, so here is an example of how the acrylic pens, you know, look on canvas. Now, if I daub it a little more, it's not really fair to show an example with a dry one. So let's get the paint down in there and see if we can get it working. And this is what was happening on my paint by numbers. 
and I cannot stand the scratch. The scratchiness is awful. But that's how the acrylic works, okay? And even though I daubed paint on there and you can see a big bubble of paint coming down, when you spread that paint, it starts to get yucky, which is the exact same thing that happens with this kind when you open them up and use them, okay? And plus, a lot of times these run out because you have to do two layers in order for the scratches to go away, and then you don't have any left to finish. So let's find in this wonderful bundle of joy something that will match that a little bit. This kind of looks similar. Let's see. It's not going to be exact, but you'll get the idea. So you can use either the chisel tip, and of course that looks beautiful, or the paintbrush tip. Easy peasy. And it really is kind of a paintbrush. You use it as if it was a paintbrush. Let's try a different color. Let's try a lighter color. Oh, that's not really lighter. It's exact. All right, let's try lavender. Ooh, pretty. Now let's make a design as if I was making it just like the other one. We'll go and so fill it in. How does it fill? Let's see if it leaves some scratches. Now those heavily saturated colors really didn't leave any scratch marks at all. But it's not really fair because they're very saturated, so it's not really a fair comparison. So let's go over this a couple of times and see if we can get those scratch marks to vanish as it, they do on regular paper. On regular paper, the more coats you put on, the more one tone it adopts or turns into. So there is that. And the difference is huge. You can see that. Scratchy scratch and regular. And then the one video that said, you can't use these because they'll never dry on canvas. Well, checky Audi and I just did this. This one's actually still wet. But this is not. So the wet thing does not apply. So, but how does it look? This is on canvas. Of course, you can, you know, say, oh, it looks great on canvas. But how does it look on a paint by number? Well, I have got one paint by number. Let me put these away quick. These are awesome. I love them. And by the way, this does not come with everything separated the way I have it separated. It comes just sort of, I, they must just sort of toss them in this bag. They don't try to organize them in any way, which, you know, I can see it'd be a pain to manually organize all these. But I've got them organized by pinks and purples and reds, skin tones, yellows and browns, greens, blue greens, and blues and grays. So easy. Easy, easy. But anyway, here is the example of what they look like when you put them on a real paint by number. Ba, ba, ba. I love the bright colors. I think it's really exciting. And the brush tip, if you can see here, you can make smooth lines in the house, for instance. I don't know why that's not automatically there. The house, but then down here, I use the brush strokes to my advantage because it's got the water. So how do I use the markers on a paint by number if it doesn't say what numbers to use? Well, I swatched it out. On this particular one, the box comes with the colors that you're supposed to have. And so I simply cut out the colors and glued them onto some uh, matting board and then swatched them out, found every single one that matched. Now, in the beginning, 
I tried to match out this light, light, light pale white with a, a light, light, light gray. And that was, that didn't work out. So I decided to use the acrylic as the white. And I'll show you where that shows up the most. I used it on these rocks here in the water, which is great because it just sets right on top of the marker. I actually also used it in the boat to show some texture. But yeah, that's what that looks like. Easy, um, very detailed because of the brush tip. Oh, and just a side note, if you are a person who does a lot of the paint by number or even diamond painting, I love diamond painting too, make sure you get yourself one of those clip-on magnifying glasses with a light because it really does make it easier to focus in on one area, get everything done in that area, blows it up to almost coloring book size practically, and but it's a lot easier. So like I said, there were no videos online about using these alcohol markers with paint by number. And so I wanted to put this out there so that people knew that that's an alternative to these ugly, dull paints that come, watery paints, thin paints, cracky paints, that come with these otherwise nice pictures. And so you can see what it looks like. All right, so until next time, be sure to subscribe so you can see the next video that I upload. And you guys have a great summer.